Uh, thank you for joining me. I'm at Crew Station. Behind me is a Class 158 and behind that it's a Class 319. This video isn't about Crew Station. It's my questions and answers for my Miniature Railway Britain series. I thought rather than do it at Miniature Railway, we'll go to complete opposite. We'll come to one of the biggest railway places known of. So here we are, Crew Station. In fact, there is a Miniature Railway not far because just if you go to the end of the platforms, there's Crew Heritage Centre. And there's a Miniature Railway there. I haven't been there today, but I will be going there at some point. So, questions are. The first one I've got is how many? Well, that's a very good question. Um, easy answer, I'm not entirely sure, but if I have a think about it, um, I'd say possibly about 200 odd. Um, which kind of brings us on to our next question. Somebody asked me, have you got a list or what is your list? Well. I've gone through about three different books of miniature railways I own and I'm going to go through a few websites that list every miniature railway plus any other sources and put them all together and that will be the list I'll work from. So my plan is to make a video where it will basically just come up with words of each miniature railway I intend to visit. If I have been to some of them I might be able to slot in a picture but it won't be so much a video of trains it will really be just so you can see the list so that's the answer to how many someone else has asked me does this mean Henry's Adventures is only going to do miniature railways from now on well the answer to that question is no we will still be doing the usual Henry's Adventures videos but we'll also be focusing a bit more on miniature railways. So what that means, if you think about it, quite a lot of the miniature railways, their venue is somewhere that is somewhere I'd make a video on anyway. If you think of one I haven't been to yet, Trenton Estate, well, I'd make a video there if there wasn't a miniature railway. So, you know, I'd make... I'd go there anyway to make a video, so the fact there's a miniature railway, even better. And there's quite a lot of zoos. I said to my girlfriend, we're going to a lot of zoos soon, and she was quite excited. So there might be some more animal videos, something I haven't so much focused on in the past. It also might be that the miniature railway is just a small one in a town wherever, like a model engineering society, but there might be a castle or an abbey or just something else in the town that's worth seeing. So most of my trips to miniature railways will be combined with something else. So chances are I'll either do one or two miniature railways in a day. Might be catching that train, you never know. But the idea is I could I won't be going just to a miniature railway and going home. I'll be going to a miniature railway and visiting sort of the local area. So there definitely will be other the usual Henry's Adventures videos isn't changing. The one thing that will change slightly is my videos are mainly uploaded to Facebook. That's because that's where I've got more people who follow it on Facebook than I do on YouTube. But what I've decided, with the Miniature Railway Britain series, they're going to be uploaded to YouTube first, and then there will either be a link or I'll upload them to Facebook later. But the regular Henry's Adventures videos will continue being uploaded to Facebook first, but the Miniature Railway Britain series will be uploaded to YouTube first. A friend of mine said to me, are you doing overseas territory in Britain? Well, that's a very interesting question. As far as I'm aware, I don't know of any miniature railways either in the Falklands or in um, Gibraltar or any other overseas territories. There's one or two on the Channel Islands, but if anyone knows, then please do comment and tell me. There's a train pulling in, so there might be a load of people getting off wondering what the hell I'm doing so um, anyway we'll, we'll carry on for the time being so we will be doing overseas territories if there is any miniature railways that also brings me on someone said are you doing Northern Ireland and Republic of Ireland well we'll do Northern Ireland here comes the train we will do Northern Ireland and seeing as there isn't that many in the Republic of Ireland and it's a part of the British Isles yes we'll do Republic of Ireland as well. As for mainland Europe, I'm not saying no, but I'm not going to try and visit every miniature railway in mainland Europe. If I am somewhere in mainland Europe and there is a miniature railway, then it can kind of be like featured as a sort of a guest of honour. There's a um, Transport for Wales Class 175 pulling in. So we're not officially going to try and do the whole of Europe, 
but what we are going to do is if we are in Europe we can make a video to the same style in Europe so wait and see it will mainly be Britain but there might just be the odd one in mainland Europe another question I've been asked is are you doing the race track miniature railways yes I'll do race track miniature railways because they're still miniature they still take you for a ride you know around the park or wherever it is they're situated but the one I'm not going to do a portable miniature railways purely because they can appear anywhere and it would you know if I was to go to every village fate or you know event that has a portable miniature railway it would just be impractical and it could impede me getting to you know the permanent miniature railway so no we're not doing um, portable miniature railways but again if I happen to be somewhere and there is one we might feature it so no we're not going to do them officially but I'm not saying there won't be any that appear so that's what's happening with portable miniature railways I stopped just for a moment then because the announcements were getting so loud and I was having to shout and people were looking thinking what is that guy doing anyway I'm still going to have to shout because I've got a train to catch um, so I'm just going to quickly finish this video so as I mentioned about mini uh, portable miniature railways would impede me doing all of the miniature railways um, someone else said what are your obstacles in you know in the way well not many really I think my biggest thing is the fact that most of them only operate on a Sunday and it's getting to those places on a Sunday and then getting back in time to where I live to get to work on Monday that is my biggest problem with miniature railways that only run on a Sunday and they're always in the afternoon so it can make it difficult so it will probably be the final ones I do will be ones that only run on Sunday and it'll be when I've got the odd Monday off that I can do them especially ones that aren't kind of you know in the Sunday ones in this area won't be too bad but the ones in further afield parts of the country that will be harder for me to get to those miniature railways so as far as I'm aware I've answered all the questions if you do have any more you can always comment and I'll try my best to answer so I hope you enjoyed the series I have already been to one today so that will be on later so the next video will be every miniature railway I intend to visit and again you can comment if you want to add any then the list will get longer and no doubt it will get longer and longer unfortunately one or two might close so it might get shorter but i hope it gets longer so i hope you enjoy the series and do keep watching by the way they're going to be i've decided every sunday it'll be on youtube every sunday i will upload it and i've just heard that 158 start up so i'm gonna have to run and get that train thank you very much for watching goodbye